Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, checking back in on gold and boy oh boy is there a lot to cover in all kinds of directions here. Back and forth today was a ton of volatility and I'm not talking about gold, I'm talking about miners which we will cover here in a minute. Gold saw some further downside, lower Bollinger Band on the daily is resistance, high volume, key support down here is 1310, a break of that level was a big red flag for the midterm bulls. Weekly time frame, still weak, bearish MACD, losing that 10 week moving average support. And looking at gold, hourly time frame, lower highs and lower lows, very tight the past seven hours, very little movement one direction or the other. The four hour chart is coming off of or attempting to come off of oversold, bullish reversal hammer with very little follow through. The bulls need to see a break of 1326.75 to get the ball rolling to the upside and to see this RSI come off of oversold. And then we're looking up at 1331.45, which was the last high on this little bounce attempt before we saw further downside. So gold saw very little action today, but miners were seeing 10, 15, 20% swings all over the place, trading opportunity galore. So we had the split occur in the miners today. Let's look at NUGT as I've been highlighting, the senior miners are more bearish than the junior miners. So NUGT, bullish reversal candlestick, but the rejection from the 100 day moving average resistance shows a lot of profit taking and we closed definitely higher than yesterday. We need follow through tomorrow. Yellen speaks at 10 a.m. Eastern. If she is dovish, we should see a reaction for the bulls in gold. And really, if she's dovish and gold and the markets go up at the same time, it's going to have a similar effect to the past couple days when markets and gold were both going down and the miners dumped. So the action in miners today was very little relation to the actual price of gold and what was going on there. But let's compare senior miners to junior miners, JNUG here. 100 day moving average is support, lower Bollinger Band, clear resistance. We're going to need to update that level right at the open tomorrow and see what it is. It's going to be in the lower $21 range and the 100 day support is 1942. So both miners need a green day tomorrow to confirm the bullish reversal candlestick and see follow through. And you can see just how much more bullish JNUG looks compared to NUGT. If you're looking to play the miners bearish, We've got JDST rejecting from the 50-day moving average resistance, not breaking the high from back at the end of July, 35.80. And we compare it to Dust, and Dust has the 50-day moving average as support, perfect bounce off the low of the day, and we broke that high from the end of July, 36.70. We didn't close above it, but we did get that higher high on the break. So again, if you're looking to play miners bearish, you're playing dust. And if you're looking to play miners bullish, you're playing JNUG or GDXJ, the other junior miners ticker. And that is just minute differences between the two, but they're actually very noticeable if you look in at the specifics and the technical indicators on these charts. So tomorrow is going to be a very big day. And the fact that the miners were able to rally this significantly today without any help from gold, if we do see gold turn around and head back up, $10 move to 1335 resistance tomorrow, we could see a nice follow through day on those miners. But again, it's going to require a bearish uh, rapport from Yellen in her speech, and it's going to have to be perceived that way by the market. And if we get gold and the market heading up at the same time, these miners are going to explode to the upside and confirm the bullish reversal candlestick in a big way. So we'll be back tomorrow after hours to cover it all. I appreciate you watching. Best of luck. Please use stop losses. Have a good night.